hi students in this topic and the subsequent ones we are going to discuss an a very important aspect of international human resource management which is reentry and career issues you know that when people are sent on international assignments that is the process of expatriation expatriates when they are sent on international assignments obviously they are not sent permanently they are also supposed to come back to the home country after serving on the international assignment in the previous topics you would remember that we had discussed that there could be different duration of the international assignment ranging from a short period of time of 1 month to up till 3 to 5 years but certainly it is a process in which the person has to come back so the coming back of the expatriates uh, is a part of the expatriation process the and uh, the coming back of the expatriates uh, is termed as repatriation repatriation back to the home country so the process of bringing the expatriate back to the home country is called repatriation and repatriation is actually a part of the expatriation process automatically when you send somebody on an international assignment when you send somebody outside it is a part of the process that that person will have to come back in most of the cases usually uh, in international human resource management the topic of expatriation and the process of expatriation considered only the going out of the employee from parent country to the host country uh, there was not much emphasis given on the coming back uh, to the home country process so although repatriation is a inherent automatic process of the expatriation process it was not given due importance and was not considered to be an important process of the uh, expatriation process but but uh, n- why because um, one of the reasons is that uh, employees were rarely sent on international assignments Uh, let's say 30 to 50 years back um, because the multinationals were did not operate on that huge level of globalization and they did not have that much of international impact uh, usually organizations stayed within a certain kind of area for example organizations belonging to the european area stayed within europe belonging to american area stayed within america Uh, belonging to chinese area stayed within that area so the process of expatriation was not that huge uh, because of which this part of the process of repatriation remained um, unnoticed but now that the globalization process uh, the uh, because of the globalization the expatriation process has become one of the major highlights of the organizations of the multinationals therefore now the scholarly um, attention is also being given to the process of repatriation because it carries a very huge important value how a person is repatriated back to the home country aapne suna hi hoga ke expatriate training ke andar pre departure training mein ye jo host country culture hai उसके बारे में कल्चरल अवेयरनेस ट्रेनिंग और कल्चरल शॉक की बात जो है वो बहुत आपको सुनने को भी मिलती है आप आपने पढ़ा भी है इसके अंदर आपने कोर्स के अंदर भी लेकिन ये बात आपके लिए बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग होगी कि कल्चरल शॉक जो है वो सिर्फ होस्ट कंट्री में जाके नहीं होता जब एक्सपेट्रिएट अपने होम कंट्री में रीपेट्रिएट हो आता है तो उसको तब भी एक कल्चरल शॉक लगता है सो वेन यू लुक एट द एक्सपेट्रिएशन प्रोसेस दिस प्रोसेस इनहेरेंटली इन्वॉल्व द प्रोसेस ऑफ री एंट्री और रीपेट्रिएशन विच वॉज प्रीवियसली 
neglected in the previous scholarly literature and also by the organization's managerial policies. Uh, so you can see in this diagram that the process of expatriation starts from recruitment selection, then the, the pre-departure training takes place, then the expatriation management also takes place on, on the assignment, and then finally the expatriation process involves re-entry or reassignment in home country back home. And this is something which is ongoing between, I mean, when you are on the assignment, you are also being prepared for coming back and you're also the organization as well as the individual is in a process of planning what the person is supposed to do when he or she comes back to the home country. So I was talking about the very interesting uh, fact that we uh, usually talk about cultural shock when a person comes uh, from, a, from, from one country to a host country, uh, we talk about cultural shock. That when you go to a new culture, you have a cultural shock hota hai, uh, because of the different traditions, different culture, different values, different norms, different ways of living. Uski you have a cultural shock. But this is a very interesting thing that when you go to a new country, you have a cultural shock. वापस अपनी होम कंट्री में आते हैं तो तब भी आपको एक कल्चरल शॉक मिलता है क्योंकि आप कुछ बातें जो हैं वो आपके सबकॉन्शियस से निकल चुकी होती हैं कि अच्छा आपके होम कंट्री में क्या चीजें जो हैं वो uh, किस तरह से मैनेज की जाती हैं सो दिस इज दिस इज कॉल्ड रिवर्स कल्चर शॉक और रीएंट्री शॉक फॉर एग्जांपल आई वुड गिव यू माय ओन एग्जांपल uh, that when I went for PhD in UK, over there the traffic laws and safety laws are very strict. So you are supposed to wear a belt, you are supposed to uh, make your child sit in the back seat. I had a small daughter who was four years old. I had a small daughter who was four years old. I had a small daughter who was four you know, make her um, used to this fact that, okay, you've, you're supposed to sit in the back seat because it is dangerous that you make your child sit in your lap in the front seat. So when I came back after spending four years in UK uh, to Pakistan, it was, I, I, it was a cultural shock for me that, uh, and whenever I observed parents making their children sit in their laps in the front seat, without wearing a seat belt, I would say, oh my God, they are doing something which is so unsafe and they shouldn't be doing something like that. So my, uh, I had gone through a kind of uh, conditioning which had made me learn certain kind of behaviors which were new for uh, me in my home country when I came back. So it is something which you experience that when you learn new things, new behaviors in a new culture, when you come back to your home country, the behaviors which are different and you have learned them and they, you don't see them being applied in your own culture, it is something which brings a cultural shock to you. So this is what is the reverse culture shock or re-entry shock. Uh, repatriation is seen as the last step in the international assignment process but this is not the last step this is actually the beginning of the person's um, re-entry into the home country environment and uh, if the repatriation process is managed well the person would be able to contribute effectively towards the organization uh, in a more effective way if the repatriation process is not taken care of uh, uh, in, in, a, in an effective manner, the person could lose motivation, he could lose uh, interest, he could, uh, he could feel frustrated and that could actually lead to, uh, to retention problems and turnover intentions. And this is something that we are also going to discuss in a uh, coming case study in the coming topics. So repatriation is a very important aspect of the expatriation process and must be dealt with 
uh, by the organization in a systematic manner.